Welcome back to Riding Bikes in San Diego. Um, this is a warning right at the top that in this video I am going to take a bad fall and I'm going to get hurt um, while riding my bicycle. Um, we are on Montezuma. We are going through the college area and we're heading west now towards Colwood. Um, I'm riding. Uh, it's about 5.30 in the evening. I have a light on the handlebars of my bicycle and there's the light from uh, headlights of cars going by but there is no other light on this road um, for long stretches and I am going down Montezuma now I'm approaching Colwood but after Colwood um, uh, there's going to be a stretch with no lights and there is a plank of wood that must have fallen off of a car or truck or something and I'm gonna hit it but I'm giving you some warning if if you don't want to see that kind of uh, thing happen or hear it then you know uh, I got a bunch of other videos you might enjoy but here we go here we are Um, the camera uh, rolled off to the middle of the road uh, on the divider between eastbound and westbound. Uh, I managed to pull myself and my bicycle out of the main travel lane without getting hit by a driver. Um, and from here, uh, as you might have heard, somebody stopped and called 911. Paramedics did show up and checked me out and police showed up and took a report um, I went to the hospital and um, I couldn't really walk without uh, help and uh, they did x-rays and a CT scan and luckily I don't have any structural damage there's nothing broken no hairline fractures and um, and that's a good thing um, I feel really uh, fortunate that I didn't um, get more hurt or die. My helmet did break on the back, uh, on the back of the skull, towards you know the behind my uh, left ear. Um, the helmet is all broken up, so I'm going to have to replace that also. Um, you know, this is difficult. Uh, it's now a few days later, and I'm having I'm am healing up. I'm I'm sore from it, um, but uh, you know I'm trying to just take anti-inflammatories like the doctor, doctor recommended and it's probably going to be a couple of weeks before uh, I'm able to bike again without any pain uh, I'm not even going to try at the moment but you know this is the kind of stuff that can happen when there's not real infrastructure paint is not protection paint does not protect somebody from debris that falls off of trucks and cars there's no light here uh, all the paint in the world is only uh, visible when people can see it. Uh, I don't think it's reasonable that um, someone should have to rely on the light in front of their bike which maybe shines 20 feet ahead of them um, on a road like this which is a pretty steep downhill. I was probably going something uh, somewhere between 25 and 30 miles an hour according to the Strava uh, that I had running while I was on this. Um, but it's also not reasonable to say that somebody on a bicycle has to 
ride the brake or walk their bike down a steep hill like this, uh, it should be safe. And it's not. So um, from now on, riding in the dark, uh, I thought I was being ca cautious. I was wearing a neon jacket and I was uh, had my lights going and everything. But uh, I'm just going to be that much more cautious. And I'm going to, um, when I'm able, uh, I'll just um, drive less and ride a bike. But thanks for watching and, you know, thanks for being with me on it. I'll see you. This is a picture of a piece of board or something that fell off somebody's truck. In the bike lane, it caused a bike list coming down the hill to wreck.